way. Good morning. Come on, have breakfast with wow. us. Come on, it smells good. <laughs> Perfect timing. Oh. Come on, so have a seat. Food. It looks good. My favorite. Sir Cardo, is Captain Ariana ready to go yet? Oh yeah, she'll be out in a bit. She's getting Letlet -let ready. Oh, is Letlet -let feeling better, by the way? Yeah. Luckily, it was just a few scratches. Again, I'll say that I'm not pleased by what's happening these past few days, to be honest. Now listen, can you all please avoid getting into any sort of trouble and making such careless decisions? This isn't good for me. I mean, this isn't good for us. Judge Padua's son was a crazy lunatic, though. He was so full of himself. I still can't believe he almost ran over Letlet. Dad, they were the ones who started it. Oh yeah, I know, I know, but Jimbo, please, just hear me out. Is it too much to ask for everyone to take it easy and keep a very low profile? What did you say? Lele was almost run over? That's why she got hurt? I just hope the three of you understand that I need to have a good image when I become the executive secretary of none other than the President of the Philippines, okay? And it doesn't end there. He also provoked Grandma Flora. One more thing, Sir Gardo. Hear this. The judge's wife... Judge Baidwa's wife flashed out at Captain Oliana. She's nasty. Did Captain Oliana tell you, sir? Love, let, let's ready to go. Hey, oh, Domeng Bea, what are you two doing here? Hi. My love. What is this I heard? Domeng said Letlet let almost got hit by a car? I thought she tripped. You're right, darling. I'm sorry I fought with that Aliana Dalisai. I only did that because I knew we were right and they were wrong. I understand, darling, and that's good. You should really fight for what's right all the time. But for now, I think it would be better if you keep a low profile, okay? I didn't want to make a big deal out of it, so I chose not to tell you. My love, it is a big deal because Letlet -Let could have died. Doming! Sir? Come over here! Take me to Judge Padua's house. Let's go. Love. Love. Oh, Yoli, you have such a big love. mouth. Oh, sir. Hey, Cardo. Love. Cardo. Dome. Wait for us. Dome. Excuse me. Grandmother Laura Cardo found out about what happened to Ledlet. Oh, my goodness, this is what I was afraid of. Cardo. Daddy. Wait, love. Daddy. His son's name? Jimbo Padua, sir. Jimbo Padua! Cardo! Cardo. Jimbo Padua! You need to calm down, Cardo! Jimbo Padua! Cardo, love, please calm down! Jimbo Padua! Cardo! There he is. Alisa, what seems to be the problem? We've got a big problem! Your son almost ran over my daughter and disrespected my grandma! And your wife, too! She's rude! Felice, I suggest you watch your words. I can file an oral defamation of character case against you because of what you said about my family. You wanna sue me? You're the ones who did something wrong! Why are you mad at me? You're the negligent father! You let your little kid play on the street! Excuse me, my granddaughter was playing right in front of our house! You are the one who was driving very recklessly! That's yeah, right. yeah, we saw it! Excuse right. me, ma'am. Just because you're old doesn't mean I won't put you in your place. Don't you even know who we are? Ma'am, we do know who you are. And since you're related to a judge, we trust you understand that according to the law, if you do something wrong to anyone, you should be ready to face the consequences instead of running away from it. Yes, that's yes, right! That's right! right. How right. something bad happen to the kid? That's just a gash. Look at it. How dare you come here and Miss, make a scene? Miss, will you please stop butting in? You're not helping at all. And you're the ones causing a scene here. Ellen, that's enough. Captain Delise, don't think I'll be threatened because you're a cop. Who knows, you might just wake up tomorrow with a badge and find yourself sitting in a prison cell. Have you forgotten that I'm a judge? And I know how to manipulate the law in many ways. Judge, if you can manipulate the law, then I can take the law into my own hands. Cardo, don't say that. Let's go. That's enough. Let's go. Sir. Cardo, that's enough. Let's just go. Delisa, you messed with the wrong people. Guys, 
stop it! Stop! Come at me! I'll make damn sure you pay for what you did! Hello. Good morning, General de la Cruz. This is Ombudsman Castillo. Good morning, ma'am. How may I help you today? I called because I was hoping to invite you to my office. I have something very important to discuss with you, General. What's this about, ma'am? It's about Secretary Borja. But can we keep this between us for now? I'll explain her in the office. You have my word, ma'am. I will be there. Thank you, General. hadn't opened his big mouth oh. earlier, then Cardo wouldn't have picked a fight with those guys. Love, come on. Don't be so hard on Dome. Cardo deserved to know the whole truth anyway. I'm sure any father would do exactly what Cardo did. I agree with what Sir Cardo did. That family needs to be taught a lesson. Captain, aren't you worried they'll try to get back at us at some point? I mean, he's a judge. Sir Cardo's up against an influential person. I know, that's why I hoped. Things wouldn't come to this, you know? It's your fault! All right, that's enough. Calm down, everyone. As long as we're in the right and we know we did nothing wrong at all, we have nothing to worry about. I ought to teach Doming a lesson. Those Delisites are really getting on my nerves. I agree with you, Jimbo. That man is zero class. He had some nerve coming here. Does he think he's untouchable or something? I mean, doesn't he know we could sue him for police brutality? I thought Judge Padua was a decent man. He sent Tomas Toazan to jail, right? He seemed so different earlier bragging about manipulating the law. I was surprised too. I used to think he was an honest judge. I was wrong. Dad, why didn't you tell him you'll be the president's executive secretary? That would have sent them running for sure. We won't talk about it until the time comes that I'm officially appointed as the new executive secretary. What's wrong, sir? What happened? Judge Padua's son almost ran over Letlet recently. Delisa, is Letlet all right? Is she hurt? Luckily, it's just bruises. But that's not the problem. He was arrogant, and blamed us for not looking after Letlet. Yeah, that's pretty arrogant. He's tough because his dad's a judge. Dad, I want to get rid of that damn best, Elisai. I want him and his men gone. I can't stand them. We'll get there, Jimbo. We just need to strengthen our defenses first, before we all decide to go off to war. They're nuts, and we know the law as much as they do. He's right, sir. They mess with the wrong people. You're right, Dad because we can't just go after those policemen. And for your information, we won't be going after them. Sir, I'm just worried that they will go after your family while we are all here at work. Don't worry, manager. Aliana's there with them, and I'm sure that the patrolman will back them up. I'm pretty sure at least I will come back here in no time. So, we are going to play the waiting game. We'll be patient. The moment he comes to us, that is when we take him down a peg or two.